Hey guys, welcome to another side hustle and passive income report video on Budget with a July Dreamer. My name is Miranda and on this channel I share everything personal finance. I cover budgeting, saving and investing. If these topics of interest to you then please hit like button, subscribe if you haven't already and let's get in today's video. So I was looking through my videos the other day and I realized that the last time I gave you an update on my side hustles and passive income was back in November of 2022 this year the only thing I've been able to share is how I tripled my Etsy income and also the um, how much I made in 2022 videos that is it so I thought well it seems like a tradition now so let me give you an update this will be a 10 month um, coverage because since January I've not shared how much I've made from my side hustles and this is not to brag but just to help others who are looking for side hustles uh, or how to make passive income essentially so in today's video it will just be a two-part video all in one video though uh, where I will first talk about how I make money and then secondly I will talk about the um, how much I actually brought in in the last 10 months and I have my trusted laptop here where I will be doing a screen record and walking you guys through the incomes from January all the way up to October so without further ado let us begin so starting off with how I make money uh, outside of my nine to five and outside of my rental properties I do have an Etsy shop which is always linked in the description bar below you will see a lot of budget planners that I use on this channel I make them myself they're very simple and easy to use are very easy to use and I sell those on Etsy I've been fortunate to be able to continuously make money from Etsy it has its highs it has its lows but Etsy is one of the ways that I make money I have digital products only I don't want to do yet anything where I have to ship and stuff like that so for now I'm just focusing on digital prints and with zero overhead it's perfect for me honestly I absolutely love it I started it two three years ago now and it has just been the best thing ever it has been the easiest but also the best thing ever I am not interrupted so to speak like I don't have to put in a lot of time when it comes to my Etsy because once I put them there and not unless uh, my customers are asking questions or potential customers are asking questions I don't really do much for that Etsy shop so yeah that's one way of how I make money second I have a blog and I was thinking about this earlier I was like I started my blog in July of 2023 so this year no 13 2013 sorry so this year was actually 10 years since I started blogging like I couldn't believe it in that 10 years I have been making money for eight going on nine years now I can't believe that I'm saying that it's a side hustle and I know some people who've been doing it for that long have uh, turned it into a business that they manage for me it was never that it was only supplemental income that I wanted to get from that and also it's a passion of mine not one where I don't want to turn it into work and I saw that when I turned my blog like I started pushing out a lot of content and working with a lot of sponsors it started to feel like work and I didn't like that so but yeah I have been blogging for over 10 years making money for over nine eight years going into nine and I've been I've loved this the income the steady income that the blog brings me there are months where I don't make anything from my blog but that's okay when mostly when I don't make anything from the blog is at least something from Etsy um, so that's the second way that I make money the third way it's not online it's offline and this is just helping family members <laughs> Like my mom is a um, very talented woman. She cra uh, she does craft. So she's a nurse, but her hobby and passion is crafting. So she crochets, she knits, she sews. She does everything. Like that lady is very talented. Like a lot of turbans that you've seen me wear on this channel were all made by my mother. Like, yeah. So when I help her at these shows, my mom is a very diligent employer. So she pays me. And I made some money in October from helping my mom, which I love it for me. Like, yeah, before I was just like, oh, it's okay if you just, you know, fuel 
but no she's like you know you get your own little salary so I do make money from that um, I get interest from the bank accounts that I have not a lot but enough but I don't track this and you won't see it in the tracker and same thing that you won't see is dividends so I invest in the stock market and I get dividends from that but I don't track it here I track it separately but that's just how I make money there are so many ways that you can make money online offline what have you but for me I have loved outside of my 9 to 5 outside of my rental properties to have something additional and I have said this many a time on this channel that for me the money that I make from these side hustles 90% of the time I just use them on travel like literally like yes sometimes I use them to help me achieve financial goals but 9% of the time I'm using it for travel yep so as you're watching this I am traveling thanks to the money that I made for my side hustles so yeah so that ends or concludes that part of the video where I'm talking about how uh, how I make money now we're gonna move over to my laptop and I will actually be sharing with you uh, the tracker again the tracker you can find on my Etsy shop but a tracker just walking you through um, how much I made in the last 10 months it's nothing groundbreaking but one thing I love is the fact that I have additional income at my disposal okay we are currently in a recession or I've been in a recession for a long time a living crisis is going on right now so to be able to have disposable income is a privilege which I am grateful to have so I'm going to start my screen record now and here is the tracker that I use very simple I just called a passive and side hustle income tracker for my business so from a July Etsy and then there may be other sources so in here I didn't actually include the money I made from my mom helping me in October uh, I me helping my mom in October but that's okay so in the month of January I was able to do two blog posts that brought me 185 and then from Etsy I made um, 273 and 42 pence bringing a total to 458 pounds and 42 pence I do have a number of expenses that I pay for and yeah Etsy fees is always the highest I think this is one of the downfalls about um, Etsy it's free it's well not exactly free you pay 20p for me for listing but it does have its high fees like yeah so obviously these fees I include them in my taxes which is fine but yeah so uh, in January my expenses came to just under 200 pounds because of those Etsy fees in February I did again two more blog posts and my Etsy earnings went down a little bit to 151 so I brought in just over 336 pounds again same fees that you see that I pay for every single month so my um, expenses for February came to 153 pounds and 34 pence in the month of March April and May as you can see I didn't make any money whatsoever from my uh, my blog like I say they every business has its moment and for me my blog wasn't doing so well and because I also wasn't accepting any sponsorships because it started to feel like work and I just didn't want that so the only income I had coming in was from Etsy uh, which wasn't high as well it was very very low compared to what I used to get last year but to be honest I haven't really been pushing my own content and promoting it so it has its adverse effects there so March was 44 April was nine pounds and June was just under 15 pounds but the expenses that I have to pay for still remain and what's even incredulous is in April my hosting for the blog came out so the money that I had made in the previous months I just used it to pay for that in April so yeah but my biggest expense was back in April because of that hosting plan that was 159 pounds which essentially 160 pounds if i now jump to june uh to june sorry june i had this was more like a link insert in one of my old blog posts so i made about 34 pounds i think it was like 45 dollars um which i normally don't accept but I did then Etsy was still quite down um, and so I only made over 50 pounds in June but I still had a lot of expenses to pay for which is the nature of the beast um, July nothing from my blog 
30 from Etsy so I made 30 in total still got a lot of expenses and that came to 113 um, August we started to pick up again with the blog I had two blog posts well one blog post and one link in session and then Etsy picked up a little bit so I made um, over 161 pounds same in terms of expenses there wasn't anything out of the ordinary for expenses uh, for the month of September was so much better so so much better for the month of September I brought in um, 270 pounds and 40 pence for my website and just under 50 pounds for Etsy so that brought me to over 300 pounds which again was absolutely great so fees the usual nothing too surprising there except I hired someone to help me with the YouTube channel so obviously that cost me a pretty penny which you can see very much so in a month of October but yeah so I did have a good month in September and October wasn't bad as well especially for the blog where I did three blog posts which I love that for me Etsy was is just going up which I hope to see that continue uh, so I brought in 284 in October and that I had a lot of expenses like I said because of the YouTube person that I hired so that cost me a pretty penny so if I look at it at a uh, glance now um, year to date for my website I've brought in just under a thousand pounds which I'm happy for me that's an additional thousand pounds that I've been able to just enjoy on my travels send towards my financial goals all of that good jazz for Etsy uh, that's just been over 700 pounds so in total just uh, 1,000 over 1,700 which is great and the majority of that has gone to fees because like with everything still have to pay fees for running your business and all of that good jazz so that is it like I am I am okay with how much I was able to make over the last 10 months like I have no I wasn't expecting huge numbers and stuff like that I put in not a lot of work anymore into my website or into Etsy so obviously I'm not going to make grand amounts but uh, if I did affiliate marketing maybe I would but I honestly don't want to um, and I turned down quite a lot of sponsorships because right now I, there is a company that's bugging me to accept a set of, a ridiculous price but they want me to promote sugar daddies and I'm like um no thanks <laughs> like I, don't get me wrong I was tempted by the money I was tempted but my website is family friendly so no let's let's not do that okay let's not do that and I also get a lot of like gambling websites that want me to talk about gambling and I'm like I don't even understand gambling so I don't know why all I know is that it's bad so I'm not talking about it but yeah so that is it you guys thank you so much for watching my video I hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video bye